the end of night. Where is the land of shadow? Where is the night? We are bathed in glare of chrome. We are blinded by the light. It is light we fear, aluminum flare, glare of steel and silverware, the sterility that shines from hospitals, hotel signs, the offices that blink awake, the padded cell, the gilded snake that wraps its loin around the eyes where the twilight slowly dies. In the ebony of sigh, we once heard coyotes cry. In the rising of the fall, we once heard the owls call. In the dawn of fallen night, we once heard the eagle's flight. We see all, no, not at all, bathed in light's eternal pall. This is Biker in Wales, inspired by Dylan Thomas. <clears throat> Cycling in Wales, inches from death, inches from breath. Black Mountain to south, Landovery to north, wheeling past Helios for all, for none, diving Icarus through the green sun. No need to pose, glaze eye at camera, Lord Cutglass past the old girls of Snug, mad with wind in the west moon, cycling, wheeling toward Carmarthen Bay, Caldy Island, Burryport, Linelli, Mumbles Head, laughing Southern Down, beyond the Valley of the Dead. Wow. Wow. Right. Death comes for Dylan Thomas. Dylan returned to Swansea in 1935 in need of Molly coddling after catching gonorrhea from either Miriam, Shirley, or a chorus girl with glasses called Fluffy. <laughs> so he said. He described himself an unmade bed down on all fours, the naked and the dead. Politeness bred politeness in Dylan, rowdiness the rascal in him. He was the changeling left by the underworld under a foxglove, hidden from all. He was a rover, eye for the clover, a heron to hover each lady he saw. But death was a shadow, a shadow for each meadow, shriek of the heron gliding the shore. After the first death, there is no other, no father, no mother, nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs>